Guys, welcome back to part 5 of the drag shifter cart. So we're getting very close to finishing this thing and very close to the final stages. In this video, we'll be strengthening the frame, reinforcing it, but making sure it is not too stiff. And after we finish that, I'm going to make my own custom fiberglass body kit slash arrow kit from scratch. Guys, I haven't seen anyone do something like this on YouTube, so you better hit that notification bell and subscribe if you're new, but let's get right to work. Okay, so I've kind of just been jumping around. Basically, I'm going to kind of redo those uh, wing mounts a little bit, redo the way they hold the wing up. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait till we get the engine and then weld these on, but these shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, we're going to get those pedals in, do a little bit more reinforcing, and then we can jump on the fiberglass. glass. So, guys, I'm very, very excited. This is probably like my third time we're doing the steering, but I got a game changer in the mail. Our, basically our steering rod is going to go straight in there and it's just going to smoothen up the steering a whole lot. Let's bolt it up and we'll redo the steering for the fourth time. thing does need alignment. I know it's off, but 
That is much better. So much better. Here is a perfect example of how caster works and how uh, chassis flex is supposed to work. So check this out. Look at that outer wheel back there. As you can see, it's kind of bouncing around. So uh, that's that's perfectly normal. So after tweaking this roll bar, I think I've come up with the perfect solution. Two bars going down and a few little cross braces. So it might look like overkill to some people. It might look like underkill, but uh, it looks perfect to me. So still have to do a little bit more tweaking. And this thing will be very close to being finished. Guys, we just got another shipment from Go Power Sports. I'm really excited for this because this is pretty much all we need to finish the shifter car. So guys, definitely go check them out. I'll have all the links in the description. First item is a clutch for an upcoming project. And just to go ahead and top it off, they supplied a second clutch. Pretty awesome. A third clutch? No freaking way. Wow. They really hooked us up. We got some uh, jack shafts. This is for an upcoming project. We got all the spindles, brackets in here. Uh-oh, we got the aluminum gas tank engine plate. Upcoming project, stay tuned. What the, that is. Tim is awesome, guys. He hooked me up with everything I need. Shout out to him, man. L literally everything I need to get my builds running. What, we got like four engine plates. Two tires for our buggy. Two brake calipers. Dang, that is a lot of gussets. He gave us two brake discs. Wow, a small brake disc and a big brake disc. All right, and last on the list, fenders for upcoming projects. Guys, I can't thank them enough, but their Go Power Sports is just awesome. Let's get to work, guys. So this is about five layers of fiberglass. You can see it is still pretty flexible, but it laid down super smooth. I'm actually pretty surprised. We're gonna go ahead and cut this up and use it for our floorboards. 
I think fiberglass is one of the best things you can use for floorboards because it's light, it's strong, it's cheap. So this is all we're able to get done today. We're running very low on fiberglass. So guys, I'll have to catch y'all tomorrow and we'll see how this turns out. <clears throat> Sorry for the interruption, but have you ever found yourself in this situation? Fortunately enough, Audio has the perfect solution for this. A portable and affordable jump pack that is able to start 5.0 diesels and 8.0 gasoline engines. It includes USB ports and a flashlight. There will be a link in the description along with a provided 15% off discount code. So back to the video. Wow, this is only like my fifth time and and already I'm seeing awesome results with the man this aluminum tape is really killer so guys the fiberglass turned out pretty good for for the little experience I had I think it turned out really nice we got the little bumper piece and the floor pan now the floor pan is going to be the most important piece because this alone creates a whole lot of downforce. That's the Venturi effect for you. But anyways, the bumper is going to sit like that. It's going to have a lip integrated into it. And it might even have a hood going up and possibly a front wing. I want to make some radiator fairings to direct the air into the radiators. So yeah guys, we got a lot of work done in this video, but we still have a lot of work ahead of us. Fortunate enough though, by part 6 we should have it finished, welded, and primered, and fiberglass. So stay tuned for that guys. Also if you would like to support me, the links are in the description as well as the Instagram. And big thanks to our sponsor at GoPowerSports.com. Yeah, I'll have to resume back in part 6 and meanwhile we'll start working on our engine rebuild. So stay tuned for that guys and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more and peace. So I actually made some fenders, the shape was there, but I did not like them. This is about a day or two of work. I'm definitely not going to be running them because they just, they just kind of look ridiculous. As of now, the shifter cart weighs around 155 pounds. That is without the engine, so it should be around 230 pounds with the engine. 